Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now behind me, I have the ADAX 25 backpack from VanQuest, which to me has been one of the absolute greatest EDC bags that I've carried to date. Today's video is really looking at the bag for a second time, but with the little bit of a caveat of the fact that I've now carried it for about seven months, so I have a lot of really good data points to go by. And over here, well, we have the ADAX 18. Now, I do have a lot of thoughts about this. It's kind of a bag that for me, at first I wasn't too sure, but the more and more and more I used it, the more and more I really came to appreciate it. And that's what I'm trying to say. At this point, the ADAX to me is a backpack that is just pure EDC. When you're talking about working out of a bag every day in your everyday carry, it has to function. It has to function well. And the ADAX backpacks from VanQuest, that is at their heart what they do best. They just function and they function well. So I have a little bit of a follow-up video today after seven months of use and a little bit more with the ADAX 18. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to show you and a whole bunch to talk about. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. So yes, the VanQuest ADAX 25. Now, what is it about this backpack that functioned so well for me? Well, before I get into what functioned well for me, I'm really just going to talk about the small couple of things that didn't. And they're very minor. There's not a lot about this backpack that doesn't function well. And the one main thing that's been a little bit difficult for me is really just the lack of water bottle pockets on the outside. Other than that, that's pretty much it. The other place where this has been a little bit limited is my ability to throw something like, say, for example, a jacket or hat and gloves or maybe, you know, a change of clothes or something like that. But that's not really what this bag is meant for. This is really made to me and in my opinion to be like the most organized sort of briefcase sort of style bag that you have and to do it well. And that is exactly what this does. So if you're somebody who's an office professional and you're not worried too much about a change of clothes and you're pretty much going to wear what you need and you just need, quite frankly, a classy looking backpack that holds your stuff well, that's where this is going to do it best. I mean, this is really going to shine when you have all your organization, all your materials, your computer or tablet, and your files with you. This ADAX backpack system is going to work extremely well. Now, for me, it's gone in a slightly different direction where I actually rely on having good quality tools with me a lot of times. I'm kind of, you know, busy in my work environment in the office. But I also like to sort of tinker with things and I always end up being the guy that's going to somebody and going, hold on, take, take a minute here. I'll fix that. Hold on. So I always need some basic tools even while I'm in the office. And so the ADAX backpack has been the system that for me that's really capable of doing that and doing it well. Now all of my EDC items are in the ADAX 18. So right now the 25 is empty, but the 25 is what I carried for literally about seven months. Now when you look at the two, you can see a little bit of a physical size difference, but that's pretty much the only difference that you have. The layout and the functionality are literally identical in both of these bags. So when you look at the layout and the functionality of one of them, well, it tells you about the other. So it made me think a little bit. I'm like, well, why are there really two bags? To me, they're both very compact. They're nice and sort of slim and tidy. They don't take up a lot of space. In fact, they kind of feel pretty similar on my back. So really, when you look at them, I mean, what is the major functional difference? So I thought I'd talk to Michael from VanQuest and just get a little bit of feedback from him. And so talking to Michael, you know, we, we kind of came to the same conclusions and I already had this a little bit in my mind. The main thing is really two primary factors. One, your torso length. So somebody that's going to be taller and have a little bit of a taller torso length, well, chances are that the 25's probably going to fit you a little bit better than the 18. And the exact opposite is true as well. If you're shorter or you have, you know, slightly shorter profile, 
you may prefer the 18. So to me, either way, for me personally, if they only came out with the 18 in the first place, I probably would have been fine with it. I realistically probably wouldn't have ever known or thought I needed the 25. And if they came out with the 25, well, I never would have thought I needed the 18. So when you look at them, an overall profile, they're very similar. And also talking to Michael, the other major fundamental difference would be the size of a laptop. So, you know, potentially in the 25, you could fit a slightly larger laptop computer. For me, all my stuff, computer and all, fits perfectly fine in the 18. In fact, it fits almost identically. It's kind of weird like that. So that's the thing. And, you know, it doesn't take a lot of changes in the dimensions in length, width, and height to make up the difference in volume. Obviously, 18 to 25, you're talking about seven liters of capacity, but it doesn't take too many inches in each direction to truly make that up. So both bags remain fairly compact and have a slim profile and low profile and do their job very, very well. So depending on what you need, you could go either way, but in my opinion, I really feel like either one of these is a home run. You really can't go too wrong. So again, my contents fitting in the 18, perfectly fine. And we'll continue to look at this one in detail. So the 25 here, you can see in the heathered gray, this 18 is in the heathered blue. Now they also have the multi-cam pattern, which if I could have had my druthers, well, I probably would have taken this in the multi-cam and I probably would have just continued to rock my gear in this for a little while longer. Um, but at this point, unfortunately, I do need to kind of move on. I have other EDC bags that I need to look at. So it's killing me it's killing me to take my stuff out of this because i know sometimes that means this bag is going to get put down so i'm going to need to find other ways to leverage this it's kind of bugging me but it is what it is i'm telling you this bag is that good that it's bumming me out to take my stuff out of it but that's a good thing so anyway as we look at this the 18 again being a little bit smaller than the 25 but again, nice and compact. And I do feel as though this rode just a little bit higher up on my back, but the padding on the shoulders has been wonderful. It's just felt great. And I like the way that everything is contoured nicely. And I do need to show you the 25. Keep in mind, I have carried this for literally, literally seven months every single day without fail. I've picked it up, I've put it down, I've moved it around, I've thrown it around, I've dragged it through my car, I've had it in the rain. Look at this bag. I could sell this for brand new and somebody would believe it. It's that perfect. I mean, there's no scuffs, there's no abrasions, there's no like pulled fabric or rips or tears or anything like that whatsoever. On the inside, it's like literally pristine. I mean, there's not even like marker spots or marks. And it's not like, I mean, I'm careful, but I'm not like super careful. I just use my stuff. And the fact of the matter that, you know, all this Velcro is perfect and not a single stitch has come undone. And the grab handles as nice as the day that I got it. And there's no fraying. Look at the shoulder straps. I mean, they're not fraying out. They're not, you know, abraded. You're not seeing wispy stuff hanging off. I could show you other bags. Certainly don't look like this. You know, the buckles are perfect. There's no problems at all. All of the straps, perfect condition, just wonderfully, wonderfully done. And I have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of the heathered look, but it is very durable and it does look good after use. So if you want a bag that even after a ton of use isn't gonna look like it's got the crap kicked out of it, this is a great fabric for that. And the treatment and how smooth it is, it really does completely shed dirt, shed water. It's virtually bulletproof. It's not gonna snag, it's not gonna tear. It was a great choice by VanQuest.
And so now at this point, I'm gonna go through the contents of my bag real quickly so you can see how I laid it out. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say is if you've watched any of my other EDC videos, you probably know the bulk of the contents in this bag. I have found that my EDC system works for me. So I transfer all the same stuff from bag to bag to bag, but it's really how that stuff fits in the bag that's been the biggest difference for me. And again, the ADAX series, whether it's the 18 or the 25, has done it the best. So here on the front, just unzipping this quickly, very simple and not a lot to it. I have a large flashlight and you're not gonna see this all too well, but a large flashlight, a nice battery bank, and I have some credit cards and a wallet down here. Now this does have these sort of, I would say like expandable pockets. They're kind of pleated. And as you look inside, those pleated pockets on the 18 are just a little bit tighter than on the 25. And that's because of the width of the bag. So on the 25, you do end up with that extra little bit of width, which I found does make it just a little bit easier to get things in there, but it's not make a break. So again, my business cards, the power bank, and here I have a mega thrower flashlight. I do a lot of inspections, so having a nice high-powered flashlight's a big deal. But even at that, plenty of room in the rest of the bag just to throw odds and ends. If you have some food or snacks, you can slide that in there, no problem, and there's plenty of room. Now in the top, you'll see I didn't need too much stuff in here, just some simple basics. Hand sanitizer, my Nightcore flashlight for typical duties. You'll see I just throw my receipts, I've been doing a lot of transactions at the post office lately so just throwing my receipts in there real easy to get to when i get home this pocket here is where i slide my checks every week gotta get paid and in this zippered pouch some spare masks just in case but again the main difference between this and the adax 25 is the width not too big of a deal it does really manage my stuff just about the same but in the ADAX 25, you do get a little bit of extra space there. Now this to me is where I was shocked. I figured this was gonna get me all screwed up going from the 25 to the 18. But as you look here, all of this gear just beautifully organized. And this is to me what makes the ADAX such a joy. I have set this up with all of my tools that come into play on a regular basis. So from my Leatherman and pliers to a nice, you know, quality butane torch lighter to my small fixed blade knife that I eat, you know, food with and I process, you know, different, you know, lunch foods on a daily basis, it's right there to all my other little things, odds and ends, pens and markers, erasers, and these new VanQuest organizers are just awesome. So check this out. Velcro back. This admin panel, absolutely awesome. Just comes right off. And looking at this in detail, you'll see I have all of my pens. Here's an eraser. These are actually my paracord needles, all laid out nicely in the front. And then you end up with this zippered pocket on the top, which for me, I just have some small odds and ends, like all my little pen refills and eraser refills. I have some chapsticks in here, just some real basic, simple stuff to keep me organized on the move. And this works out extremely well, where it is Velcro, and it goes on the liner on the inside of the bag. So wherever you wanna position it, it will work very well. So for me, these add-on accessories have been great. And now obviously this is compatible with other company stuff. So depending on what you have and these other items, many of them have gone with me time and time and time again. So just again, fitting in there nicely, working out extremely well and keeping me nice and organized. And as I remove all of these out, you'll see, again, things like my Leatherman and whatnot. And here, another little option from VanQuest. So you'll see, these are exactly the same, only I've chosen to use them a little bit different. So this here, I have a small Leatherman. This here, I have my fixed blade. And so you can see these are capable of holding a multitude of different items, depending on your needs. Just slightly different slots in the shock cord, which is nice and Velcro backed. And again, you'll see here, I just opted to sort of slide this sheath in there and it works well. This here, having an ulti clip if I wanted to, I could even clip that into place. So these organizers and these accessories working very nicely. And again, removing the rest of the contents here. 
very simple. So again, depending on the type of organizer that you like, you definitely can fit it in there. And again, just finalizing the thought that with the ADAX 25, you do end up with just a little bit more width and actually a little bit more height, but the depth doesn't seem to bother me one bit and actually everything fit in here perfectly. So with the Velcro organization, that's definitely the best part of this particular pouch. Now inside here, the one part that I didn't use too much, you'll see this does have the water bottle pockets and one on each side. There is some shock cord, but this particular part, again, I just didn't find I used it too much. For the typical user, if you're not going to put water bottles in here, I could see things like, say, for example, a sunglass case would fit in there just about perfect. So this does give you a little bit of subdivided compartmentalization inside the bag without adding your own organizers. But again, just for my needs, I didn't use this too, too much. And finally here, this pouch for me always worked out very well for things like my cables and cords, headphones, chargers, things like that. It's nice that you have a little bit of a see-through pocket there, it just works nicely. So whether you have the 25 or the 18, that works very well. And my other favorite part of these bags is on the back panel. This is absolutely the perfect layout. So again, whether you have the 18 or the 25, it's going to be exactly the same. But for me, this worked out very well where my tablet PC fits in here perfect. Now, if you have a computer that's bigger than this, you may want to think about the 25. Personally, for me, again, this working very well. You'll see that this is a fairly compact tablet computer. I want to say it's a little bit more than a 10 inch diagonal screen size. So it's not overly large and it does fit in here just about perfect, but very, very nice. And then for me, the other thing that I have greatly enjoyed is the fact that I can keep my notebook right here. That's just wonderful. So when I say it's easy to work out of this bag, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. When I get to work, just slide out my laptop, I slide out my notebook, and even if you need some papers, they fit in there very, very well. Now the difference again between the 25 and the 18 is the depth right here. So I have not found that I need too much more than just a few papers in here. If you're somebody that wanted a little more volume, you may opt for the 25 versus the 18, but I have absolutely no problem getting my gear in here and everything I need. So this has worked out extremely well. And again, little things you can do if you have some extra space and you want to just throw on some morale patches, there's Velcro all over the place and different little unique things you can do to personalize and make the bag your own. I mean, fact of the matter is, there is no sort of morale patch locations on the outside of these bags, but you do get some spots on the inside and I think that's pretty cool. So all in all, these bags are awesome. I can say I have greatly enjoyed them. So, all right guys, there you have it. Revisiting the VanQuest 8X25 and taking a look at it in comparison to the 8X18. Again, either way you go, you can't go wrong. If you're looking for what I'm gonna call the pure EDC backpack, to me, the VanQuest 8X series has been the one that's setting the bar. It is now, in my opinion, the bar. There's a lot of great backpacks out there, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of amazing backpacks for other reasons, but in my opinion, when you're looking for that pure, bring it to work, everyday carry, carries your office equipment and you know, sort of urban equipment very well and even tools, this backpack is the system for you. It's really capable of getting you organized. It's really capable of working out of it beautifully good overall quality, you can't go wrong. So VanQuest, you nailed it. I have to admit, I questioned it at first, but after using it, I am a big time believer. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. Hope you like what you saw. I hope you found that a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.